Hello, I'm Marisol Miranda from Easy Equal Access to Software and Information. On this video, I'm going to explain how to caption a video using the Sync Caption option on Camtasia. First, you'll need to have the transcript or script of the video. This is a text representation of what's being said in the video. I must stress that before starting with the captioning process, you must have your video assembled just the way you want it. This will make things easier for you. I have my project already open in Camtasia and I'm going to click on the tab More and then on Captions to go to the Captions tab. Now we have the Captions window on the left, the Canvas on the right, and below both of them and all across the screen is the timeline. On this tab we can find, among other things, five buttons for the different captioning options that are Add Caption Media, Speech to Text, Sync Captions, Import Captions, and Export Captions. Some of them look like they are turned off, but they will be turned on after the first caption is created. So, to start captioning the video, you will need to open the transcription file, select the text and copy it, then go back to Camtasia, to paste it in the captions window. The first three lines of the recently pasted text are in black and the rest of the text is in red. This is because the black lines are already a caption. As soon as the text was pasted, the timestamp that is at the left of the three lines and that sets the time where these lines are going to be displayed in the video was created automatically. You can see the active caption displayed below the video in the canvas. In the future, when we have more than one caption, it is going to be easy to recognize each one of them because it is going to look like a block of two to three lines in the caption window. Every time that a caption is added simultaneously, a new segment representing that caption is going to be added to the timeline into the same track. For default, all the tracks are named track and a number, one, two, three, etc. To rename them, do a right click on the name of the track and select the option Rename. To start with the captioning process, I'm going to click the Sync Caption button. The Sync Caption dialog box is going to show up with the instructions on how to use this option. A checkbox can be checked to stop the dialog box from showing. It depends on you if you want to check it or not. Immediately after closing the dialog box, the video is going to start playing. What you have to do next is to listen to what's being said aloud and follow those words in the text. After two to three lines are read, click on the word where you want to start the next caption. Keep on doing this until the audio of the video is over. Here you have a small example of what I just explained. Five I'm going to caption a video the on the song One Five Little Monkeys. And bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the fence. To be sure that the captions are synchronized correctly, play the video if the error is a typo, click on the caption where the error is on the caption window to fix it. If the error is on how the caption was synchronized with the video and it needs to be displayed longer or less, on the timeline, position the playhead a little before where the error is. Play the video, pause it where you want the caption to be shown, and drag and drop the caption to where the playhead is located. I prefer captions to be two lines because I believe they are easier to read, but that's my preference. Thanks for watching. 